some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Take away kids from the screen bastards because today I have for you legendary shield rebuild. My little dirty secret in this build is synergy between backpack and the gear set. Honestly, I think you have never seen something quite like this. Just check this survivability out of this world. I'm face tanking legendary wave without shield. Seriously, man? Welcome to insanity, insanity, and again, to insanity and subscribe best. Spoiler alert, I'm the best. Hello, beautiful and amazing people, badass Dark Zone agents, butchering the building as usual with another crazy Division 2 build video. If you're new here, hey, 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 man, subscribe, hit that like and share this video, or leave a hateful comment. It truly depends on your preference. I'm trying to reach 30k subs before this year ends, so hey, let's do some little miracle here. And today, I have one miracle build as well and I am talking about the Lemma set with Clutch Talent Synergy and if you're gonna pair it up with Bullet King Exotic LMG the result will be ridiculous that's the reason why you can play without shield and honestly you can shoot behind the cover apply basically bleed all over the place mark your enemies with that you will receive increased damage with dilemma and of course your clutch will work much much better and minigun is actually pretty nasty in this setup because it works really well with your clutch and dilemma and it has 1000 rpm don't forget about that and you have bonus armor as well when you use it so minigun sometimes can be really strong here but that's not the point of this build we are utilizing clutch talent and by applying the lemma marks on multiple enemies at once we are increasing our throwability like crazy and that's the reason why we can face them whole waves but but if you're gonna pair it up with Rigway's exotic pride chest piece, which will apply bleed effect left, right, and center, you'll receive armor regen as well. And clutch by itself is not that strong. You need to support the talent with armor regen, maybe armor on kill attribute, maybe unbreakable, you name it. But in this case, Rigway's pride chest piece and clutch works really nice since Bullet King has 850 RPM and it has no reload whatsoever. So you will mark your enemies, heal yourself non-stop and apply bleed effect. But before we continue, I just want to let you know that we have some sponsor items. Guys, if you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deviant.net is site for you. They have absolutely amazing things on consoles. They will complete your order twice as fast. Now, Everything happens with Echo sharing this series has been working for many many years It has tons of customer reviews you can check everything by yourself But now with my promo code RBB You will have 15% discount on all service amazing deal especially when right now this site supports Outriders and other games if you have any questions I will leave a link down below in my description you can contact them through the whatsapp and now let's get back to my legendary build. Just check this survivability. I was shocked and they still couldn't kill me with rushers. I will repeat myself that legendary difficulty that just shows how much health you have and I'm rushing with this build. I'm not sitting behind the cover and minigun. Man, I have a lot of fun with minigun. I think I have never seen build where minigun is so strong as in this one. Stinger Hive is absolutely must have skill. It will apply bleed effect with that your regen will be much stronger. And again, use your minigun, you have a huge amount of bonus armor. You're gonna slap enemies left and right. You can apply marks from your dilemma set that will of course basically spread damage all over the board and it works with clutch as well and as you see my teammates already is yelling why we are rushing man because i'm butcher i am godfather in this game 
I am setting rules here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I am awful. <laughs> and guys, if you want to be updated, all the best. PvP, PvP of you know where you have to be. Butcherland is the answer, man. Please smash that like, subscribe, it will help me a lot. So, with no further ado, let's get into hospitalization. We are using Gunner, and that mini gun works really well in this set. It has 1000 RPM that works really nice with clutch. It will apply the lemma marks as well. And Gunner Specialization will increase fire rate with each kill and you will receive armor back. And Medkit will go with bonus armor as well. And don't forget that you have foam grenades and those can be really handy. For example at floor 100, fighting legendary hunters or maybe rogue agents. So pretty dope synergy and Gunner Specialization is must have here. That fire rate is really handy with our main gun, Exotic LMG Bullet King. And what's special about this gun, it has no reload. You don't have to reload this gun, you can shoot non-stop with it. And that's the reason why it works so well with clutch talent. But like I told you before, clutch by itself is really big talent. You have to support it with armor regen, armor on kill, or maybe DPS, blast cannon type of build. Clutch by itself is not that strong, but when you're gonna pair it up with gunner specialization, which will increase fire rate on your bullet king, and as well, you'll receive armor back on kill. That's super handy on heroic difficulty and legendary difficulty as well, especially with the dilemma set. And all together, all the synergy will improve our clutch talent. And clutch efficiency is really important in this build. Honestly, one more time, I'll repeat myself. Clutch by itself is not that strong. And when you will reload your gun most of the time, you will die. And Bullet King is perfect gun for clutch. It has high RPM, you don't reload basically ever. And with Dilemma, you will apply marks all over the place. And we are supporting clutch talent with Rigway Sprite, exotic chess piece, which will provide us with armor regen. Super dope synergy, arm on kill, arm on regen, and clutch talent on kill will heal yourself non stop. So, for the second gun, I'm using FAMAS with Sadist, and for pistol, I'm using again Sadist. And this is named pistol with one extra skill tier. It will give me maybe more stinger charges and it will improve my drone strength. Super handy pistol. But most of the time we're gonna use, of course, Bullet King. For the gear set, I'm running Negotiators, Jesus Christ. Anyway, Dilemma, brother. Dilemma set for peace. And uh, it will provide us with crit chance and crit damage. One huge note here. If you wanna run Dilemma set and be effective with it, you should reach maximum crit chance on your build. And we are sitting almost at cap. I think we have 58% crit chance on this build and that will allow us to proc much more often Dilemma marks or Dilemma set. And you know how Dilemma works. You will mark a couple enemies and they will receive damage from your first target. You can shoot only one enemy and all market enemies will receive damage. That's the reason why a lot of lone wolf players are using Dilemma set on solo legendary runs. You can pair it up with focus talent, maybe use a headshot scope and you're ready to rock for chess piece. I'm running a regress exotic right chess piece. It will apply bleed effect left, right and center and most important part with each target you'll receive armor again. And you'll see my numbers are pretty dope. I'm sitting at crit chance cap basically. With some optimization I will reach 60%. Crit damage is more than enough. And uh, honestly, once you will activate the Lemma set, you'll achieve those stacks and those will improve your damage as well. For Backpack, I'm running Clutch, Devil's Do Backpack from Cheshire Gear set. Really strong, super dope synergy and actually you could replace this talent with Bloodsucker. Bloodsucker is really decent with the Lemma set as well. Pretty, pretty nice, but Clutch, man. You are unkillable, you can face tank easily everybody with this set. Super, super strong. I love how much works. 
everything in this build is top notch. We have fire rate increased, we don't reload, we have armor regen, we have armor kill, and you see the results. I'm running heroic missions with no shield, with direct use applied. The same story with legendary difficulty no shield whatsoever it's shield free build and honestly i'm so sick and tired from all those shield builds jesus christ we have a lot of other builds we can improvise and honestly i think a lot of you told that clutch is absolutely garbage and you are not wrong man i agree clutch by itself is garbage talent you have to seriously uh, work around this talent to make it work but at the end, this is one of the best clutch talents or clutch builds in the game and this backpack is absolutely ridiculous with Dilemma set and if you can face them, legendary difficulty with clutch, <laughs> I think Dilemma or this build is broken. Most of the time you will use big door shield, maybe bulwarks at Scorpio build or maybe protection from elite, some more regens, but not in this case. We have clutch and some dirty secrets as usual and we can face tank legendary difficulty. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one, Butcher dropping the mic. Stay safe brother.